Have you ever wondered what happens when an alpha male flies too close to the sun? Well, you probably never met Wes Watson or seen a Wes Watson video. I didn't go to prison for 10 years missing a fucking Boy Scout meeting. A lot of people talk about what they're willing to do, but they've never had to pay the consequences and been okay with it and thrived from it. So that's the difference. Now, he is the alpha male amongst all alpha males, and as you can clearly see, he is the leader of the Dubro food chain. Now, I don't know why there was a Fresh and Fit podcast contest live. They still have fans. They still have some supporters. So naturally, getting their live event together, they had to bring him on or it just wouldn't have been complete. But he showed time and time again why he was a fool amongst fools. Their task was sitting on this panel and being asked various questions. Normal interview type stuff, but nothing's ever normal when it comes to alpha males. My definition of success is across the board. If you're not ripped, if you're not rich, if you ain't rare, if you don't stand out, if you ain't across the board successful, it doesn't mean fucking shit to me. If you got straight tits and you're in your Rolls Royce, you look like a fucking clown to me. You have a weakness. Change it, motherfucker. So they asked him to define success and he's saying that if you're not successful in all aspects It doesn't necessarily count which can have some okay elements I guess but I find it very funny that Bam Man Kivo somebody who is known to have gotten a BBL Self-admittedly is up there laughing in these remarks alpha male ideology isn't necessarily harmful It's just the delivery sure you should strive to be a better version of yourself every single day But when you don't take into consideration the nuances of people's lives or what they could possibly be going through that may have them I don't know, lacking in one area, then you may not be the best preacher of the message. Then there's some other things that he didn't necessarily even mention in his commentary about what success is. What about the interpersonal stuff? What about your family? What about love? What about other things that aren't necessarily visible by the naked eye? We blame these people for being gold diggers, the women that they pursue, but all we're giving them is the naked eye perspective of what success is. So of course, they're naturally gonna be attracted to this, but naturally it gets much worse when Wes Watson has a mic in his hand. So they continue to go down the line and ask the panel, what success is and we get to this one married man who gives his explanation but Wes doesn't he doesn't like that my definition of success will probably be far different than everybody else's on the panel my definition of success is having a family having children and being part of the apparatus of the world true wealth is a rejection of materialism Christ said himself what good does it benefit a man to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul now a good natural holistic response from a Christian man who has the American dream and even though I might not necessarily believe in all those things it makes sense I want a family I don't want to be materialistic so I'm tied to these things and have that image be portrayed and then get mad at women who I call gold diggers that all makes sense nobody should have any sort of opposition to that right you have then money person. Does, does he have money no does I'm broke I'm a nobody. No, but really, you are? No, I'm not. Strolling. I'm not one of these rich guys. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a Lambo. I, don't I, have I just a really have to know. Like, how much money you got? Probably five, the five bucks in my pocket. Not much uh, more. Does anyone, can anyone answer for the guy? <laughs> I have a family. I take care of an entire family. That takes a lot He's of money. Right. Now, naturally, this guy is up on Fresh and Fit's panel because he is someone of some noteworthy stature. You know, they just don't have Randeezes on the podcast. Okay, let me check that. They don't just have random men on their platforms. Usually, they get somebody of noteworthy status. They might lie on the opposite side of the aisle as you but usually these guys are successful so having a different perspective shouldn't cause this much of a back and forth but for an alpha male like Wes Watson he feels the need to not only attack him about the monetary status he has but about some other things because they don't align with his ideology which is stupid and linear thinking if you ain't fit you can't say it's not all about being in good why, shape why not if you don't have money you can't say it's not all about money yeah why not but if he does have money he can say that why not he why can't. can't you say it? why must you have the thing because you because uh, hang, hang on hang on let me ask the question because hypothetical is hypocritical <laughs> I disagree with Wes Watson here. You don't have to necessarily obtain the things or be of the certain status to understand that this isn't the route that you want to go on. I don't have to be ripped to know that being ripped isn't the end all be all. I can assess what it takes to get to that level and determine if that's what I want to do in my life. If I wanted to get ripped, I've been there before. I've had some muscles on me before. You know, this is a smaller version of me. But if I wanted to get ripped, I would know that I would have to go to the gym three or four times a day like I used to. I would have to eat, I don't know, 4,000 calories like I used to. I know it would take away from time from my businesses, from my job, from my family, from a lot of things that I like doing now. And to me right now where I am, that's not necessarily my goal. Now, at some point I am going to get back on that track, especially before I have a kid. Don't feel like my kid should see me like this, but I can determine that that's not what I want without currently being that. And even if I wasn't ever that, I could also say, hey, the opportunity cost just doesn't make sense. Why is that such a hard concept to believe? I don't know, but I'm not a dude, bro. How come if I don't have X thing, because they don't value X thing, does that mean X thing is actually valuable? You've never experienced it, so you can't speak about <laughs> you it. You think that I haven't experienced wealth? That's a good point, even too. I people, was asking if you did. Even poor people experience days of wealth. I was they asking can, if you did. I, I don't know who you are.
Even yeah, but even poor people experience days of wealth, and so the thing is, is no, it's no, not, definitely not. I've lived the lowest lows and the highest highs. Well, what's the, so? What's the distinction after you make X amount, hundreds of thousands of dollars? If you look at these studies done on this, I don't hugely, fit no fucking studies. It does not bro. hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the fuck bro, you are? Why? Why? why well, don't look you at, even are you proud? If you look in the mirror, would you guys <laughs> say this motherfucker's proud of who the fuck he is? This is where the crash out totally begins. What the guy was saying is actually absolutely true. There have been studies that show that having these sorts of things don't necessarily inherently increase the value of your life. If anything, you can find misery in these things as well, which again is a part of a nuanced conversation that alpha maleism doesn't necessarily encourage. People that go through, you know, stages of getting their body right, go through body dysmorphia just like a lot of other people. They don't see themselves to be fit, so they go through these ultra crazy diets and get on roids and all this other stuff to achieve these body goals. But that's not their interest. They don't want to spin that narrative. They don't want to talk about feelings and emotions. They're facts over feelings. So when facts over feelings doesn't necessarily work, we got to get more feelings involved to downplay the facts. I'm about to crash out. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Crash out, West. That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your fucking shirt because off I've been, and tell me you're fucking proud because of Because I've been to fucking prison? Jesus Christ, because look I've been at to you, prison. Bro. You got 10 inch arms and tits. <laughs> Men don't have tits. Oh, no, they go to prison where they get fucking, Fuck yeah, where they, they get do. raped up the ass. Oh, brother. If this doesn't scream insecurity, then I don't know what does. Sometimes I feel like Fresh and Fit can put on a good show. They can have good dialogue. I haven't seen this whole thing through and through, but it seems like a good atmosphere. They seem like they've bought a good collection of people to give counter arguments and counterpoints that would lead to something like this. That's productive. But the problem is alpha maleism breeds insecurity. And when you supposedly have an alpha male in a room with other alpha males, you're going to get an insecure off. <laughs> Who can show that they're more insecure as possible? You know what's crazy? I always try to get into the mind of somebody who would pay for these podcasts or pay for these seminars from people like Wes Watson and try to figure out what do I find appealing about what he's saying? What is he doing or saying that I would gravitate towards that would make me want to become him? Because it definitely can't be stuff like this. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very, he works, he's, God Damn it! You're still whining. Stop whining. That, that and just is a make an product. Argument. I dude, I'll smack your fat yeah, ass. So you're gonna attack? Okay. You're gonna attack? All right, all right, all right, all right. Nothing about this is appealing or will make me want to spend money to listen to him talk any longer than I have to for this video. To be honest with you, there's no encouragement in this. No, I don't believe in that whole Mamba or MJ mentality where I have to get punched in the face to be like taught to do certain things. This is actually kind of terrifying. Even Myron and Byron are saying to themselves, "All right, this is a little bit too much here. Maybe we need to pull back." And and get some decorum about ourselves. But this is what alpha maleism is, is when nobody agrees with you or you can't articulate your words properly or somebody bests you in something, you gotta turn to putting them down and shaming them into submission. And again, I don't know who's watching this and thinks that that's the case or what should draw them to patronize people like Wes Watson, but ultimately when that ego gets bruised, they take it out on other people. <laughs> I don't like that. But what do I expect from Fresh and what do I expect from Fit? Would you guys ever pay for an alpha male class let me know what you guys think in the comments because if it's led by wes watson the most insecure alpha male in the world then i would never want to be a part of that seminar